Hello friends, my name is Abhishek Kumar and today I'm going to show you a very simple single page application kind of setup using Knockout.js. This you can use to create a bigger applications also. So this is just a small section where you can have a feel how you can simply create a single page application using Knockout.js. As you might be aware of that Knockout.js is a MVVM framework for JavaScript which you can use in your web applications. So what I'm going to do here, so we'll be using JSBin today and here's the link. So here's the empty JSBin panel for us. So we have HTML section, CSS section, JavaScript section and here the output will be rendered. Okay, so let me add the library for Knockout first. Here it is. So I have added this Knockout library. So now what I want to do here is that suppose I have let me paste some code and uh, so we have a template so basically this is a script of type text uh, HTML and I have given it an ID of temp page one and in this page one we have a div panel inside that and uh, where I have written this is a page one and on that we have also a button which can be used to switch to the next page so let me add few CSS properties for page one. What I can have is background property of red and suppose the width is 200 pixel and height of 200 pixel. So what I want to create three pages, basically three main div panels. So let me copy and paste and we have a page one we have a page two and we have a page three. Suppose this is of blue color and suppose this is of green color and same we can have three devs. So basically we have three scripts. IDs I can change. So this is the two. I can mark the class of two. So this is a page two and we can have a button which can say that go to page two, sorry, go to page three. And then we can have a page three, which is of class page three. So here we can say that this is page three and so go back to page one. So we have the three scripts here. Now what I want to do here is that I want to have a div. This is, this will be actually rendered there, but I want it to be displayed only when when my page property is equals to page one. Okay. And if it is set another property that is the template, I'm using this template binding here, knockout template binding and set it to temp page one. So let's close it. So this is my div panel. Now what you can do here is that now you'll write some JavaScripts. So maybe I can have three more div, two more divs here. Let me just remove some blank spaces. Okay. So this will be the visibility when the page property of this view model, which I'm going to create in this JavaScript now is set to page two. And if it is page three, then show this, use this template, otherwise use two or three accordingly. So what we are basically doing here that we are going to create a observable variable. Obviously that would be a knockout observable in the JavaScript view model. And then I'll check this visibility property, what exactly the value is. So let me start by creating a view model first. So this is how you can create a view model in knockout. So this is my just a simple function. And then I can do this ko dot apply bindings. And what I want to do here, maybe I can set 
the default thing is page one so maybe this is my default page and then I can create a property here that is the knockout observable and set it to the default page okay so uh, one more thing I need to do here basically this is a knockout variable so that's why we have to use this because knockout observable are basically functions okay so here you can see that uh, we have rendered the output obviously the CSS has not been applied so let me just quickly check it oops so I need to set it to the class sorry misspelled here okay then so here you can see that uh, we have set up the first page is, has been rendered and uh, this is the page one obviously the button will not work here because we have not uh, used the binding here to bind the click event handler for this button which I'll do next so let's add the button here so maybe I can create a function here so this is suppose this is go to page one and if that is invoked then maybe what I can do here is that I can set the page observable value to page one obviously and let me copy and paste and when it is two and when it is three so to page two and go to page three so we have created three functions all I have to do is to bind the buttons so I'll use again the knockout data bind here and this time I'll bind the click event handler to go to page 2 here okay and similarly I can have that here also now let's see see uh, as you can see here that the basically the divs are basically shuffling to page 3 is not working obviously we need to change so 2 to 3 and on the third we can so to quit go to page 1 okay then so now it should be fully functional so here you can see that we are able to swap the different divs based on these properties so let's uh, summarize these things once again so we have created three divs here and we have set the uh, the visibility of that div to page one uh, obviously we have set the template to the temp, uh, temp page one that is my this script only when the page property that is there this is the knockout observable property here and the value of that is page one so if it, if it is page one use this script Otherwise, if it is page two, use the second script or if it is page three, if the page value is page three, then use the third script. So obviously what we are doing is that on demand, we are shuffling the different pages. So just by this is a very simple kind of thing uh, that but you can use these uh, this technique in a bigger application also. So this is your single page application setup. Hope you have enjoyed. I learned a few things. Thank you.